A sit-in protest is underway at flats in Glasgow's Mary Hill, where people are trying to halt their home's possible demolition. Housing Association the Wheatley Group is planning to clear four blocks at Winford. Residents say the flats should be refurbished instead of destroyed. And that's a tough as well. These flats are a well-known landmark in Mary Hill, but the Housing Association have plans to demolish them. We're very keen that we retain these blocks. We understand that they can be retrofitted, which means that they can be renovated uh, to be brought up to what they call the net zero standard. So uh, essentially the tenants they wouldn't even have to pay for heating. And that can be done uh, as cheaply as blowing them up and starting again and building half as many houses. Despite the demolition being in the early stages of the planning process, many living here have already been rehomed. I feel it's terrible because see if they knock down all these flats, then they're going to, it's going to be pandemonium for many years up here. There'll be dust everywhere, there'll be like concrete getting crushed, the noise pollution up here will be unbelievable. <laughs> Some are refusing to leave by staging an occupation. Six people have been arrested and charged with vandalism offences over the protest. We were encouraging the residents of the buildings to not leave until they were given a, a deal that suited them. We don't want people being pressured to move to other parts of the city or leave um, areas where they grew up and where they're comfortable just for the sake of weekly being able to pull these buildings down. They are remarkable, right? Architecturally remarkable, very refined buildings, unlike any other environment, residential environment in the whole of the west of Scotland. Those in favour of keeping the flats fear they'd be an historical loss, which would also have an environmental impact. If Glasgow is actually true to the to the trumpeting that it did during COP26 about retrofitting buildings rather than de demolishing them, they should be thinking of that as a priority. The weekly groups say the vast majority of tenants in Wineford are overwhelmingly in favour of the £73 million regeneration and that they're doing everything possible to support tenants moving out of the blocks. Residents worry it'll only be a matter of time before these blocks come down. Vanessa Taff, STV News, Mary Hill.